Do you like my moose hat? Huh? So the other night I had this really weird dream and I thought it called for some analysis. So I've done my research and today I plan to unlock the secrets of my personality. So to give you a basic outline of the story, it started off when all these weird mass murders were being committed and my family, a few fictional friends and I, were put on shifts to try and find out who the murderer was. My shift was with Dumbledore because even my dreams include Potter references. On one of these shifts I was lucky enough to catch a glimpse of the murderer and it was just kind of a shadowy indistinct figure, didn't really know who it was. So I decided to consult my trusty companion Dumbledore who told me that the name that came to mind was Winehouse. Seriously? Amy Winehouse? Apparently so. So kind of understandably, Dream Me was a little freaked out by the fact that this mass murderer was a famous singer. So my dad decided to make me a potion which would apparently make me less scared and therefore able to confront Amy Winehouse with the assistance of Dumbledore. At this point the scene kind of changed to this massive hill with trees on either side and Dumbledore had kind of morphed into this guy from a film I saw called The Colour of Magic and it was really weird because he had like a beach shirt and sunglasses and stuff and he really didn't look like Dumbledore anymore but Dreamy wasn't that bothered and somehow Amy Winehouse had come with us to this magical hill of destiny convenient for some reason rather than trying to like arrest her or something seeing as she was a mass murderer in this dream we just decided to try and make her reform so we were having a nice little talk with her like eh, you can't be evil because you sing and she's like yeah that's a good point actually i play caribou now for those of you who don't know a caribou is basically a reindeer so i really don't know how that was going to work but somehow in the dream it was like this weird little guitar-y thing i I really don't know what that means about me. And then a couple of my friends from school came up and started saying, no, no, she's evil, you've got to put her in prison. But for some reason the caribou bit made it all okay. No, maybe because it's kind of related to Bambi and Bambi's adorable. But long story short, we got Amy Whitehouse to reform. So all in all, I guess it was a good dream. Having said that, it was still pretty weird. So let's move on to the analysis. Well, apparently to dream of seeing a famous singer symbolizes accord and persuasiveness and applies elevation of the inner self. I couldn't find one for mass murder, but apparently massacre implies that you prefer to go along with the beliefs and opinions of others, and you should be more assertive and express your individuality. I'm wearing a moose hat, what more do you want? Oh, they didn't have any for Dumbledore. Oh, that's disappointing. They do have one for wizard though. Apparently to dream of a wizard is an indication that you are strengthening your skills and exercising your power. Well, so it turns out it was a better dream than I thought then. Now how the hell do you spell caribou? Yeah, I kind of gave up on the caribou bit, but a guitar apparently symbolises intense and strong feelings. Okay. I couldn't find anything for like forgiveness or reform on here, which is a shame. But when I typed in forgiveness, it did come up with urination. Apparently to dream of a urine. A Can you say a urine? To dream of a urine represents rejected feelings that you're currently experiencing. Well, I think we can conclude from that that my dreams are very messed up. And I probably won't be able to upload a video next week because I am in a music course in Guernsey, but I will film one and I will see you week after next. Bye!